Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw a pair of eyes. Last Friday I was drawing one eye and we got in that very very detailed. But a lot of you already started asking me the question what to do when we're drawing two eyes. Now I want to explain something about this and what is a very very common mistake when you are a beginner artist or very young is that a lot of you already know that when you are drawing eyes that they have to come in one line so they're not crooked so that's very important and what most of you already know is that in between one and the other eye there could be placed a third eye and in that way you know the the distance between the eyes so if you have that then you're quite right already but what is a very common mistake is that people draw the upper eyelid like so then here comes the corner of the eye where the teardrops come and then they go around like this all on that horizontal line that's not good and a second mistake that uh, people make is that they start drawing eyelashes from that line out now that's a mistake too because actually there are two lines and you can see it here there are two lines and the eyelashes will come out of that second line here mm, what's also a mistake by a lot of uh, newbies is that they want to draw in the irises and they simply draw it in in between <coughs> those two lines uh, that's not correct either because uh, most of the time uh, when the person is looking down or looking up then actually um, the that pupil would be partially uh, be overlapped by uh, the upper or lower eyelid so that's um, it, it looks unnatural when you place it like this it's just uh, like a flat fish um, or a moba or something uh, that's not good so please I want to get you out of that thinking method but start thinking in this way now these pairs of eyes kind of look okay maybe to you but I've drawn in uh, some mistakes for you to make you aware now when you pay close attention and it's hardly noticeable <clears throat> until you start drawing in um, you can take a ruler like this and then you see that this line is going towards each other here the lower eyelid and look this distance and this distance is not in the same line and when your uh, face is angled then of course one eye would be bigger than the other but when you are drawing a, a frontal portrait then these lines should be some kind of ego equal also the line of the pupils should be in one line so uh, this eye actually is bigger than this one so you get a crooked idea so if I was to draw uh, downwards lines here then this and this distance should be the same and in this case it's not and they should be when you are drawing a frontal portrait so I've taken those eyeballs and I've drawn it here for you so this would be one eye this would be one eye and this is your distance in between and then you have your first 
correct start. Now going back to that first mistake and then I want to point downwards here. Now this is the correct way to approach uh, the, the pairs of eyes and that is that this is the outer corner here and then it goes down to that reservoir for the teardrops and then it goes up again. So this line is much higher than the point where the teardrops go. That's natural because water has to go down and not stay here on that horizontal line. So this is my horizon line, horizon. I've put it down here, horizon. And the pupils should be on that horizon again. And what you also want to notice is that you always have to draw two lines here and here. And here you can see the iris partially going behind that part of the flesh here. You can see it here too. So this gives you a much more natural view of the eye. And here I was drawing that corner here. This is the lower eyelid and that space there in between the eyeball and the flesh. You can actually see that ridge there. So that's very important too. So um, what is more? Uh, oh well, uh, you also have to uh, make sure where your light source is coming from. So when uh, here the, the light hits the eye, then it would be on that side too. This side, that side, all those kinds of things to get that real 3D feel. Okay, I will start drawing two eyes, a pair of eyes with you. And of course you can watch the real time on my Patreon page. And well, let's get started. So let's start drawing. And for this I'm going to use a black and a white color pencil, in this case by Arteza, and gray toned. The Kohinoor Heart Mood uh, can be used for uh, correcting and of course if you are drawing with charcoal or charcoal pencils or pastel pencils then you can use the blender stick for extra dimension and blurring out your drawing. Now on my Patreon page I am uh, doing this drawing live. Um, well, kind of life. I'm uh, drawing it and uh, talking at the same time. This is a fasted forward some bit uh, version. And here you see that helper line. It's your horizontal line that will help you get the eyes uh, in correct alignment for you beginners or people that are struggling with getting equal eyes. Now, as you can see, this is the eyeball, the left one, and I'm drawing the flesh around it over that ball. And then here comes uh, the lower eyelid. So that's the first start. And once you have that, you can simply copy this eye opening on the right eyeball, which also goes over that ball and then curving back and you can already see that the outer corner of the eye is much higher than the in, inner uh, corner of the eye and what is also major important is to draw two lines for the outer line of the eye that's the thickness of the flesh and that will help the 3d effect and in the center will be the nose bridge and it will be another tutorial so I will be back with that then you can see the upper and lower eyelid and they are rounded because of that eyeball that is inside that skull and you can draw in some little wrinkles here and there and then it's time for the irises 
Now, if you draw one, you have to make sure that the other one is of the same size. And in my case, that's two centimeters. And you can easily check this by using a ruler. Now, the pupils are a little bit up higher because of uh, the iris that is partially covered by the upper eyelid. But the pupil is always in the center of that iris. Then I already take two uh, light spots up on those irises and these will be both on the right side of the iris because my light source will be in this case on the right side and what is also very very important is not to keep the white of the eye all white but to draw in a lot of shadow that is going on just underneath the upper eyelids and then you can simply uh, color in the irises a little bit but, and then uh, sparing out those uh, glimmery shine upon those irises. So this is your main form and do not get into too much detail. That's for a later order. Now next you want to draw in the flesh that is around those eyeballs and the eyebrows of course themselves they start about at as the same height as the inner eye um, corner and then it's a rounded movement around that eyeball and what you also want to do is keep track of where your light source is coming from so here on the left eye just next to the nose bridge there will be a lot of shadow going on and uh, so this will differ from the shadow that goes on on the right side on the right eye and when you are happy with the shape you've created then you can get in uh, a little more detail and a little bit more extra shadow and just um, go with the feel and, and keep thinking 3D keep thinking rounded and uh, here is the nice part for drawing on toned gray and uh, that gray is a middle tone and you can then easily get your white pastel pencil or your white color pencil and this is so good for your study purposes because now you can uh, draw out those highlights um, you can uh, draw in a little bit of the white of the eyes and then get even more that feel of 3d and the feel of where your light source is coming from I love sketching on uh, gray toned because it really definitely helps me a lot uh, in uh, thinking 3d and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit of uh, I'm going to make these eyes more ladylike so she is wearing mascara for instance and then you can see that the eyelashes grow out of the upper line of the upper eyelid so that is also very important where to place the hairs of the eyes you can see it at the lower eyelid too and the hairs tend to uh, pack together a little bit when you put some mascara on it and of course you can also uh, give some tone to the flesh uh, that comes forward but just uh, keep your study uh, as, as plain and simple as possible and in the beginning do not try to make too much detail just get those shapes in order and get that 3d feel and the darkest shadow and the lightest lights for your concentration and learning process so 
I hope you found this very helpful indeed, and maybe you want to check out my Patreon page. You're very welcome, of course. And until that time, I will say I see you next Friday.